Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to beat a 1600 rated computer on chess.com via double check. I'm not just going to give check to mate, I'm going to give two checks at the same time. Double check mate. That's the hope at least. Let's see what we got here. It says, do you study openings? No, I don't. Let's do uh, C5. Let's just play some Sicilian kind of thing here. See what, see what I don't know. So I'm already like, I don't know what to do, right? I'm already so, I'm so bad at openings, it's embarrassing. I'll just bring some pieces out, thinking about this, thinking about this. See? I guess I'll go there. Okay. I can take that, right? Is this some gambit that I don't know? Wouldn't be shocked. There. There. Take that. If it, okay, let's do it. Pre I pre-moved it. What is this? Take, take. I'm doing it. I'm going to go in for it. Show me. Show me what you got. Look at these moves. Okay. I'm okay with this, right? If you take me, I recapture. There's no fork, right? There's no, like, knight here. Knights don't work that way. That's not how knights move. Okay. Um, I think what I can do is go bishop here, pin that knight to that rook. That seems mildly annoying if I'm white. So, okay. Okay. I like my position. I wouldn't say I love it, but I would say I like it. So let's see what we got here. I think I'm going to castle and then try to defend some of these key points. What is this move? I want to bring my knight out and just start attacking. Um, of course I can't take anything yet. Let's go here with the idea of just trying to try to get some space maybe. Okay, now this pawn, that's not a pawn. Now this knight is going to think about moving. So let's just back up. It's a little inconvenient. Yeah, I realized that was not the best move after I made it. Like all moves, you realize they're bad after you make them. You going to go there? I think I can just get rid of this. And then just live with it. If you if you knight takes, oh, okay. No, <laughs> they didn't. I was gonna say if they went knight takes, I was just gonna put my knight there. Now I think I can push. Let's try to push in the center. Let's try to get some space. Mm, I see that move. If there's ever a way to go go here or something. So, of course, I'm also on this. I gotta play more defend. I'm playing more defensive than I would like. So. Of course, the threat is now just to take this straight away. So let's push it. I want to get pawns moving. Hmm. That is not a move that I would like to see. I feel like it's a weird looking move. Do I have enough time to go here and then here? Look at these arrows. Knight to c8, knight to b6. Can I try that? What's the what's the threat? They take me, I take them. I'm attacking here. They just move. There's no big deal. They're attacking me. I go here, maybe. Hmm. I think it's clear that my knight is the worst pawn, pawn, worst piece in this position. So how do I improve my worst piece, right? That's kind of the thing, right? In chess, you want to improve your worst piece. I think there's something there. So... Let's let's just go for that approach. I don't know if it works. Because now I'm on this, right? I, I said all this already, although I did say rook here because I was not imagining it properly. So if I go here, take, take. They can take here, but that could that would be on that. So they'd have to take here first. Then I'd take here, and then they take there. And then what? Then I go rook here. Trying to attack some stuff? Is that a lot to calculate? That sounds about right. I think I think that's an ending I'm kind of comfortable with. Yeah, this is this is exactly it. Although I did say rook here. That doesn't work. How about here? No checks. Oh, this is looking scary. Oh, this is looking scary already. These computers, man. Let's go here. You take here, that's fine. I'll take here, and I'm going to go after this guy. 
There's no uh, mate, right? Oh, you can get the you can get the rooks. Oh, queen, queen's off. Okay. I have to I have to defend. This looks like a draw, right? Like objectively. Although of course I'm not going to play objective chess because I'm not the best chess player. But I could take that. But th I think they needed that to get their king out. Maybe not. Okay, maybe this isn't a draw anymore. Maybe it is. <laughs> that was quick. Um, I have to figure out what to do. Let's make a passing move. Yep. If they stay... But now, now that's not... They have no check. So now I can try to go here. What if I go here? Do, am I really going to go into a king upon ending? No, I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing with that. Hmm. I want to say this is winning because I have, of course, the side who I think is better. I'm a pawn, after all, so it should be, at worst case, it's a draw for me, right? So, remember, the goal is to win via double check, so I can't simplify everything. This is not just beat the computer. This is beat the computer in a particular way. So, what if I went rook here? And just kind of trap their rook in. Ooh, take take there i have to evaluate whether this is a winning king upon ending and that is a tough thing to evaluate and i'm not so sure if i can even do that rook takes i think you take with this pawn and then i go here they go here i go here they go here i go there they go there i push the pawn they go there. i don't know how that's going to work i think i have enough my intuition is calculating more than my actual brain. Okay, this is what I was just saying. Now I was saying they went here and I go here. Okay, this is a little better than I was saying. But now I need to get here, which means that if I go there, they go there. So, waste the tempo. Can I do that? I think I'm okay. I think I waste the tempo. I think I waste the tempo and I push like this. Up the board. Yep, I should be okay. That square's covered, that square's covered. Look at this. No stalemate. No stalemates here. I, I was going to say, take the pawn in case. Or do I take it? Because then they can... Yeah, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. I need to win with double check. So how is this going to work? No checks. Or no stalemates, I mean. No stalemate. You have that square. How am I going to do this? Um, check first. Check. Let's. See. I'm going to get the king just away. I don't want to stalemate the king. Oh my gosh, I'm going to stalemate the king if I'm not careful. Let's get the king out of here. You have that square. You have that square. You have to run away this way. Okay, I'm just going to make the king run away. Okay. I'm feeling a little better about the king running away. Okay. So now how do I need to go about discovered check mate? Right? Or no, I said discover check. Double check mate. How do I do double check with mate? Hmm. My first thought is to have something like behind like a knight or something where when the knight moves it gives check and then there's something behind the knight how about so let's get a knight like that and then let's put something like this I think I'm already kind of seeing it here like this? Yep, yep, yep. I'm seeing it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a rook here. And then when they go back, that's discovered check mate. Because the rook is there. Well, that, Should I put a rook or a queen? I think it's cooler to put a rook. So this is double check mate. Nice. It all came from that king and pawn ending, too. 
I wonder if that was the objectively best way to go. Maybe not, but I got the I kind of had the instinct that that was the right way to go. I could do a game review, um, but I don't know how that would look on the video. So let me just first review it by myself. So, yeah, you know, it's funny. I kind of just noticed after this move, I was like, I can go here. And my thought was, if I went here, let's, let's make the move. I went there. This is where I started to calculate. I'm going to the analysis board, but I started to calculate, okay, if I take, depending on how they take, maybe it does matter, but I thought you pretty much have to take this way. You don't want to give me this free pawn, this pawn undefended. So I thought, let's take this way. Then I thought I would have, because I have this pawn, I have a tempo. In the worst case, I can try to you know break it up and do one of these things, try to push these together. But I thought after take, take, and then run the king in, I just didn't see how, yeah, I didn't see how you'd be able to cover everything because I have I have an extra pawn, and eventually I push that pawn as a distraction to get to these ones. Well, that this pawn would be here, but either way, you get the picture. That's kind of nice. That was cool. So then the final position, let me go back to that one more time. Was double check mate. Nice, and this queen really just helped hold the second rank. That was fun. I enjoyed that challenge. It was a good, good, solid challenge there. 1,700 rated computer? No, 1,600 rated computer. That's a good rating. So I'll take that. That was a good one. That's it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like it on YouTube. Um, half the income for the channel goes directly to charity. So this month, it's the American Heart Association. In February, it'll be something different. But yeah, keep an eye out. That's it. Thanks so much. Bye.